astounding facts. India's renewable energy market grew to 14.3 gigawatt in FY24. 75% growth has come in last five years. This clearly tells how open access solutions are being loved by corporate energy consumers. And why not? 70% replacement, more than two rupees saving and 100% IRR. But here is a catch. If you don't know under which financial structure to procure it, these numbers are not for real. These numbers are just PPT numbers. Though the captive structure is the most preferred structure, but within captive structure, consumers get confused whether to go under a dedicated SPV or a group captive SPV. And let me tell you, if you don't know the difference today, you're in a mess. This is the number one question that CFOs ask me. Which structure to go for? Why to go for this structure? What is the equity investment in both the structure? What are the pros and cons? So in this video, I'm going to decode for you under the score framework, the difference between these two structure. And let me tell you, if you understand the score framework, you will have a clarity which structure to pick up and also to achieve the IRR and renewable energy goals. So S in score framework stands for stake ownership. In dedicated SPV, a consumer takes a 26% stake while the rest is owned by the developer. And a group captive structure, the multiple consumer in proportion to their energy consumption take 26% stake. Key takeaway, dedicated SPV lets you get the full control of the SPV, whereas in group captive, the multiple consumers control the SPV. So C in score stands for consumption. In dedicated SPV, the 51% consumption is to be done by the dedicated corporate energy consumer who has a stake into it. And this is ideal for high energy consumers like steel, pharma, chemicals, etc. Whereas in group captive, the consumption of this 51% has to be in, in proportion to the share which is there in the SPV. So key takeaway, in case of dedicated SPV, you have exclusive access to the energy consumption. Whereas in case of group captive, this needs to be shared in proportion to the share that you have. O in score stands for ownership of risk, which means in case of a dedicated SPV, because it's a single consumer, the, any default by SPV, be it delay in commissioning, or delay in power delivery, etc. It has to be borne by a single consumer. Whereas in case of group captive, it, it spreads between multiple consumers. R stands for reputational risk. Trust me, this is mo most critical because this will give you clarity whether to go under dedicated or group captive. In dedicated SPV, since you are the only consumer making 26% investment, have entire control of the SPV, any default by you or by the SPV has to be borne by you. Whereas in case of group captive consumer, wherein you are sharing this with the multiple uh, consumers and if tomorrow any consumer defaults, that reputation of that risk uh, or the SPV defaulted tomorrow comes on you. So let me give you an example. For example, let's say in case of a group captive consumer, any party defaulted and you have a stake in that and then because of that default, the brand name of your company gets impacted. And if you're so conscious about your brand name, go for a dedicated SPV, otherwise go for a group captive structure. Last but most important, E in score stands for equity impact. Consider a scenario tomorrow if the power consumption demand reduces, let's say to 50%, in case of dedicated SPV, the single consumer can reduce the equity stake. Whereas in case of group captive consumer, let's say assuming there are four or five consumers, one party demand reduces, then all of them has to put together more equity because the law says that uh, in case of a group captive, all the captive consumers should put together should have 26% equity and also consume 51% of the power. So key takeaway, in group captive, impact is individual, whereas in group captive, because you don't know the other parties, but you will still have to share that equity impact. So here is the thing, you should choose dedicated SPV any day, but getting this in the market depends upon your energy consumption and a risk appetite. If, if you're a high energy guzzler consuming more than 10 megawatt, then without any further cost, you can get a dedicated SPV. Whereas if you are a, have a smaller consumption, let's say less than 5 megawatt, getting a dedicated SPV might be difficult, or even if you get it, it will come at a cost. So in nutshell, it totally depends upon your energy consumption the capital structure that you want to go for and your risk appetite. I hope you found this core framework useful. And if you want to decode more such frameworks to mitigate all your open access risk, here's my invitation to you. This invitation is to book one-on-one -on -one call with me and my team, wherein we are going to decode your energy consumption and the right open access solution and the right financial structure. This call will be for one hour and I'm promising you on the camera right now, you will easily get 10x value from this call. I look forward to seeing you in this call and in my next video. Till then, have a great day.